Good morning everyone and welcome back to our My Trucking Life. We are starting today's trip in a lay-by on the A34. I hope you can forgive the noise. And as you can see, we are pretty wide. And in half the trees to keep the load out the road. <laughs> uh, if you haven't already watched the previous video, go check it out to see how we ended up here. We are on our way to Worthing. And I'll, I'll have another check down there in a minute. I ain't taking you down there with me. <laughs> it's bad enough last night. But um, yes, we are taking this lovely lot down to the south coast. Cinderella's looking a bit dirty. I'm feeling a bit dirty. And it's time to just get on with the day. It's half past seven now. Sorry if I'm shouting. Half past seven, we're not booked in till 10 o'clock. Um, we're only about 90 mile away, but yesterday evening he was saying it was like going to take an hour and 40 minutes. So I've gave myself at least two hours this morning because Chichester Bypass, no good, no good any time of the day, especially this time. So yes. Oh dear. So we caught one of Bird's friends last night. Uh, uh, uh. Right. Okay, three tenors ready. Mini bird poo ready. Bird poo ready. All systems <coughs> are go. Um, Google's telling me it's an hour and 45 minutes, a bit similar to last night. The awkward thing about this is you've got to take a swing to get to see in the mirror. We'll move across for Eddie Stavart. Well, not move across, sorry. We'll wait for him. Because I didn't want to put the power down and leave him in the outside lane. Well, I've noticed a few Eddie Stavarts have been getting a bit quicker lately. Same way with uh, Wiseman's Muller. They always used to be one of the slowest on the road, but yesterday, good gosh, it took me a while to overtake one of theirs yesterday. So yes, we are five miles away from the bottom of the A34, and that was as close as damn it I wanted to get without risking getting on the M3 because I only had about 50 odd minutes left and I didn't have a clue where I could park between there and then the A. I know there's a long stretch where there's nowhere to stop. So I didn't want to risk doing that. It's a nice house Sullivan's truck. And Harry's, Harry's Transport. Yes. Nice to see you buddy. I was just going to say there's a driver for Harry's Transport that watches me and I think we've just seen him. <laughs> if those horns are anything to go by. Hope they might pick that up. That'll do. There was a car just trying to shut the gap but... I don't know if I've mentioned it, well I haven't mentioned it for a while now, but when you've got wide loads on, you've got to remember that you've also got flashing lights at the back and this trailer in particular, some of the others as well, but if you've got something on the back of your trailer to get the attention of people, 
such as the beacons then it's going to divert people's attention away from the normal things that they see like your brake lights like your indicators and I am just catching the outside lane I do know that that's just to give Eddie as much space as he needs thank you very much yeah so when you are indicating to pull out not only do you get the people that are just blindly ignoring you not only do you get the people who just don't see you at all anyway because they're more bothered about themselves and then you get the other people who have seen you they have acknowledged that you're a wide load they are taking caution but because of the beacons it's diverted their attention away from the fact that you're indicating so they genuinely don't see you indicating so you've always got to take a little bit longer to uh, manoeuvre, you're always going to take a bit longer, sorry. Here's one of Ferryman's stunning motors, taking full advantage of the hill he was. Now, now there'll be a queue coming up, so, oh it's a 750 Volvo guys, it was a 750. So we'll let him come in front of us because his outside lane will be queuing up shortly and so will ours. And I'm impressed with this actually, this is quite good. Oh, thought it would be busier down here to be honest. But I'll settle for this.
Ah, oh, so that was a narrow stretch. It's the worst part of the journey getting down here, that is, I must admit. A little bit of a dicey moment, but fortunately it's not very sustained. It's just for about five minutes or so. Our colleagues, not long found me, gave us a bit of a heads up that he's delayed. Apparently there's a concrete lorry turned up at the same time as he did and he got... He either went straight in before him... Actually no, I think he'd got there just before him. So they've booked a concrete lorry and a frame lorry for 8 o'clock in the morning by the looks. So he's got to wait for the guy to go in, pump all his concrete to wherever he's got to pump all his concrete before going in to unload. Which will have a knock-on effect to our load, obviously. We're going to be getting parked up on the coast road in about eight minutes' time. Oh, no. I was going to let him through, but... He seems like he's been waiting there a while. Did that have Macho Man Randy Savage on the front of that truck? <laughs> Couldn't quite make it out. I ain't even going to attempt that. I ain't going to attempt that. We probably could get through with a bit of uh, guidance, but... Have you ever noticed that the more sleep you have, the more tired you become? It's definitely my case. We had seven hours, or seven and a half hours last night. And I can't stop yawning. Good yawning, good yawning, you're really good at yawning. This is another awkward road. We are on a movement order by the way, as I'm sure you already know, so we have to we have to take this route. You'll see what I mean in a second when we turn onto the road itself. It's so so awkward. The good thing about it is it's straight. So you can see for I mean how what country is she from? And what planet did she learn to drive on? I'm sat here flashing you through. I'm not gonna thank you. I'm sat at the end of the road flashing you to come on. Whoa. I don't know if you can f tell by the video, but I can definitely tell with Hummer. There's a Hummer. Ah, come on. You're going to stop there, aren't you? Even though I flashed you through to here so the next cars can get through. Nice M4, though. So I'll let you off. And here we are, Worthing Seafront. Beautiful. Porsche's had a bit of a dawdle there, so let me come out. Thank you very much. Well, I'm going to assume that was why. So, not only are we nice and on time 
if there wasn't any delays we're nice and on time to make the most of our delay <laughs> just hope I can find somewhere to park I should have I should have just gone there in my first opportunity, really. Dive bombing starlings. Uh. Oh. Last time we spent the night here. I don't think we're going to get here now. Well, it's time for a brew. I don't mind if I do. Because our other guy is still waiting to get on the site. Um, there's a cement lorry up there coming out of the road. Not quite sure whether he's the guy who was holding us up. But I've just got off the phone to my colleague and um, he's obviously confirmed the same. He's still waiting outside at the moment, so I don't think that's the same guy. I think it was more so one of the uh, actual pump kind of uh, concrete trucks with the you know with the extending arm that pumps the concrete up at a high distance. But um, yeah, if you see the last time I was down in Worthing, I'll try and link it down below if I remember to. We came here last on a Thursday evening. We arrived here about 2 o'clock in the morning. Uh, we'd had the Thursday off work and we got Worthing on the Friday and I'd rather have done it like that. Uh, I still... Um, I still had my day off. Just had a few hours of sleep and then came up here on the Thursday night rather than risk having Friday night stuck out on the road. And it turned out to be quite good. We had a lovely day down here in the morning we have a lovely chat with one of the locals and it's simple and glorious um, it's alright I was going to film outside but there's someone walking past now so we're not going to bother um, yeah if you go and watch the video back there I'll go into a bit more detail about what's down there you can see the pier, the coast, the boats the wind farm and all that jazz. We paid for three hours parking here on the front and our three hours is now expired. We have had quite a bit of a delay due to many factors including the concrete pumping machine that's there, another lorry that had came and they've let in before me and uh, now our parking uh, ticket has expired. We're going to have to relocate somewhere else. We're going to come round onto the road where the site itself is. However, the 12 o'clock delivery has turned up and it's from another company subcontracted to us and he's in a rush to get back up there today so the gods have said to let him get in and unload before us. Can you watch me? Just reverse to this. Yeah, no problem, so we're still going to have another hour. I think the 
we're going to relocate the pumping machine along with tipping that of the delivery. The problem is we are wide and we're going to be overhanging in the road a little bit. There's not a lot we can do about it. Can't pay for another parking ticket. And the longer we stay out here, the longer we're gonna get people pull around us. So just gotta wait here. We have been in here before with a wide one, so we should be all right. That is going to be tight. <laughs> Okay, well, I must admit, cheers mate! This is definitely not how we was expecting today to go. And fortunately we can just squeeze out there. It is now 10 to 3. So, uh, bit of a bad day at the office in terms of deliveries and that. Those lights are on red, so he's going to have to wait. Ah. And the gods have just called me just to let me know that all we're going to be doing is heading back up for now. And we'll wait to hear from him later on. If, if we do go back home, it'll be getting on towards... Uh, seven o'clock so we might just run us into our next place tomorrow and these I don't remember coming past these buses as much last time I don't remember it giving me any trouble I'll have to go back on the other videos and see if there's anyone actually parked there but that was quite narrow to be fair and we're empty but what I'm gonna do to save any uh, any more boredom I'm gonna end the vlog here um, we're just going to be heading back up north for the rest of the day predominantly. So I want to thank you all for joining me. Sorry there hasn't been too much happening but hopefully I've made up for that with the uh, head cams and reversing into the sights and stuff like that. Once again thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time guys. <laughs>